Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stigger, where we last left off. We uh, went and made friends with the pooch. And we cured Elliot, kind of. And in all the chaos, hopefully we finally, finally found the key to the door. Ooh, yes. Yes, handgun magazines. Oh, sweet, sweet handgun magazines. Yes, fill my pockets. Uh, and you know what, sure. Why not, I guess. We've got the money to burn right about now, so sure. Um, okay, so now we're a little bit topped up on, on ammo, which is good. Uh, we also want one of those. Why is a Gatling... You know, pound for pound, the Gatling gun is really good from a financial standpoint, from an efficiency standpoint. Because it's 200 for one uh, box of ammo, and you get so much out of that. Uh, out, I mean, if you're talking efficiency, I think the worst is probably the shotgun, because it's 120, which is nearly, th well, 1.2 times the cost of a hangar magazine, and it's shit. Uh, I don't know what I ever saw in the shotgun. It's really, <laughs> really not that great. Anyway, let's go in through this door. Yay! Use the clone room key. Sweet! What could possibly be in the clone room? Well, I'm glad you asked. Not much, by the look of things. Oh! Maybe there is. What in the hell is this? Uh, it's a clone. I guess this is the research Kamira Tech has been engaged yeah. in. What the hell is that? they doing with these monsters no maybe we'll find out Who knows? maybe we won't there must be a report somewhere hmm. yeah, we'll find out and then we'll go to the blue light we're gonna find the report and then we're gonna go to the blue light uh, are you sure about that Elliot are you sure I mean that thing looks dead it looks rather ominous as well well I suppose if it gives us any jip, we can stick a 120mm rocket launcher up its ass and get it to sing for us. At least that's the theory. Might also uh, grab our spine and do bad things with it, but the monster's holding something, you think? You've got the Gigadent disc. Well, I mean, that was convenient. Uh, Elliot wanted a report, and I guess Elliot got a report. Alright. Now, how do we get out of here? Yeah, I get the feeling if that thing actually got its hands on us, uh, it would bend our spine into uh, funny shapes, like a balloon animal. You know? Uh, right, so we can use the ID card there, which is good. Kind of strange to have the uh, key card that we need in the actual room that we need to use it. Um, not actually, not actually mad about that. Um, big open space. All right. Anything over here? Any health kits and weapons? No. No. Right. I'm surprised. Enter the passcode. Door is locked. I mean, that's kind of good in one way. I mean, it gives us one area to go. I like having one choice. Oh man, I remember this room. Oh, god damn it. This room's a pain in the balls because it's so hard to actually aim at these things. And yes, purists will say, well, why don't you just walk past them? Because fuck these guys, that's why. We're not here to let these alien scumbags, well... Mutant scumbags scurry around like they own the place. Oh, no, 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 no. They need to be reminded who wears the trousers around here. And that's us, in case there's any confusion. Who was that? I had some... Alien... Nonsense. Well, for those of you who like seafood, uh, I don't think you'd fancy chowing down on that. 
I mean, I find seafood ooh, disgusting anyway. Oh god, it was you that was making the noise, damn it! They're behind us, they're in front of us, they're to the up of us. There we go, to the down. Yeah, there's more of them, alright, that's fine. Alright, er, uh, Elliot, pacify the area. You know what this game could have done with, actually? That it doesn't have, surprisingly. It doesn't have a flamethrower. Flamethrower would have been freaking sick. Because, you know, alien mutagen, flamethrower, kind of goes hand in hand when you think about it. And I, for one, support this idea. Yeah, these things go down quite easy, actually. Good thing we brought all these magazines. And why is it, dear viewer, why is it that a handgun magazine costs 50 Chimeratech bucks and a steak costs 2,300? What's that about? Bullets are cheaper than food. That's a crazy kind of uh, reality of existence, if you ask me. In fact, there are some weapons in this game that is cheaper than food. Yeah, we're just going to wail on these things with the uh, handgun. The handgun stays consistently good through this game, which is interesting. I mean, these things are pretty tanky anyway. But that's okay. We're just going to use liberal amounts of bullets until the bug stops moving. Wait, was he already dead? Were we stunning him and just like literally emptying rounds into his corpse? Well, that's fine. We have burnt through nearly 450 bucks worth of ammo, but hey. That's fine. Right. I mean, Elliot, you may not be able to afford food, but you can afford to keep your house protected. Like any sane American. Wait a minute, Americans also like to buy food. I don't know. I don't know how uh, economics work in this crazy world of Blue Stinger. To be fair, I like to afford food too. I'd also like to buy weapons. But the government doesn't let me. Oh god. Actually, technically the government does let me. Uh, I just don't have a license. I do keep meaning to get a license. But it is rather low down on the priorities. Um, and I have noticed that we have actually used all of our handgun ammo. Um, okay. Let's get the napalm gun out. I mean, it's kind of like a flamethrower. Alright, smile, you son of a bitch. Uh oh. Uh, Elliot, in your own time, buddy. Thank you. How effective is it? Whoa! Okay. See why, guys, I've just validated what I just said. Flamethrower. Okay, fire. Fire is where it's at. Oh, hey friend. Do you like fire? And also, could you die over here? Because my concern is you're going to die over there. And I'm not going to be able to get your money. This is bad because I want your money. You see? You're still burning. Dude, look. Oh, you've missed bits. Alright, let's reload. There we go. Move, Elliot. Ah, well, luckily for you, I'm using a weapon that cauterizes wounds. Ah. I have a feeling... For some reason, I've got it in my head that that white blob can't be killed. Uh, I don't know if I'm correct. Don't worry, guys. We'll give it a bloody good go. Ugh. Blob of... Well, I'm not going to say what it looks like, but oh, I'll tell you what it does look like, actually. It looks like a T-1000. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to... Oh, no, it is burning. So, maybe... The only thing is, there's no real point in destroying this thing, because it doesn't give us any money. Uh, Elliot. Elliot. Can we explain? Do you need me to explain what way to aim the weapon? All right, Elliot. Elliot. Elliot, buddy. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, I'm not convinced that we're doing an awful lot of anything with that. Let's try dogs. Hey, dogs, do you still have that railgun? <laughs> of course you do. Do you want to use it, buddy? There we go. Ah, it's bleeding. So, I guess it's taking damage. Hey, dogs, you're not a bad shot with that. Okay, I guess we can kill it. I don't think it actually has anything. Isn't this a weird room? There's one of those big things that like super ultra uber mutants. And, you know, let's just blast off the last two slugs. And this thing? Kind of an odd combo. Anyway, no trespassing. It would have been a shame if we couldn't completely pacify the area. Ooh. Well, let's keep using the railgun. I find your lack of power disturbing, railgun. Oh, hey, friend. Do you want to come and play? Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think you'd like that. Boom! Do you want another? Mate, I got plenty for you. Don't be shy. You had enough? You sure? I could warm up another slug for you. It really is quite all right. I won't want you to leave malnourished. Nu 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 malnourished. There we go. Why did. Oh, God. I had a brain fart of the highest degree there. Shouldn't record when I've been up for like 20. No, 18 hours. But hey. Got to get recording time in when I can these days. Oh, no. Not these flying dickheads. Right. Yes. Give it another. You. Why are you so strong? You should not be that strong. It should be illegal to be that strong. <sighs> Alright, come on, Santa. Let's keep this party wagon going. Anything else to blast? Ooh. Danger overhead. Yeah, well. Uh, what's that? Check. Check your pants. What's that say? Check window partition number five. Uh, okay, which is window part? Uh -huh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Uh. Mm. Don't we need any of that? I'll take an ammo uh, vending machine if there is one. Aha. There is a button. We like buttons. Uh. This is the time when the meteor hit. Let's check the data. There's a lot of monsters down to this meteor. Hmm. Kimtech Orbital Simulation System. That's the horizontal line. Cool. Got ya. Oof. You destroyed the satellite. The altitude meter doesn't know what it's doing. Hmm, it got stuck. Seemed like it was trying to get down into that middle egg section. What <laughs> did I say egg? Oops. Uh, looks like a missile or something. Well, it knew exactly where it was going, so... Yeah, insert key disk. Well, I mean, it looks like an egg, doesn't it? The meteorite is caught in there. Mm -hmm. That is the source of the blue yeah. light. It's down there. It certainly is. Um, so, how? Oh, okay, that is actually a door. Cool. So there's the meteorite. Doesn't look like a meteorite, does it? A blue meteor. Nephra. Hmm. What's the purpose? Oh, it's obvious. There's something underneath there. The meteor wants to get right through yep. it. The disc we found might tell us something. I think we should have Janine check this out. Yes. Good thinking. A gigadent disc.
Okay, uh, right. Well, I guess we have to go all the way back up to Janine. Is that what you're telling me? Because, my dudes, that's a good trek in the opposite direction. Uh, unless there's like a easier way back to Janine that I've forgotten, which there absolutely could be. And, or, you know, maybe, maybe not. Ah, oh, wait, hang on. I think we've got to go all the way back. I think the other door's probably open now. You remember when we had the three choices? Santa, come <coughs> in. What would you like for a present, little girl? <laughs> Coming over. <laughs> You're alive. I want you guys back here All now. All right, Jesus. Okay. Got it, sugar. Oh, I've got a present oh for you. Oh my God. <laughs> I bet he does. Hey, since when have you two gotten so no, close? We... Women love a guy who'll risk his life for adventure. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> it's so bad. Neffy. <laughs> It's so bad. It's so bad, it's good. Never get away with these days. No way. Can't fucking say anything these she days. She has something to tell you. She needs help. Yes. What? We gotta go back. Yeah, we're going back. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm surprised he doesn't bust out a belt of like, uh, Santa needs you to hold his sack. It's full. Good stuff's at the bottom. Reach deep. And I'm going to stop. Because I can always, already smell the YouTube ban hammer. Uh, really? I mean, re oh, hey, sir. Hey, buddy. I've got just the cure for your ailment. Boom, right up your ass. There we are. One up the bum, no harm done. One in the face. There we go. Boom. Mate, I can do this all day. Thank you. The only thing that pisses me off about that is you're costing me money. Ah, uh, well. We've got plenty of money, so... We can replace all this equipment when we actually get to, you know, uh, somewhere to replace it to. Yes. Yes, that'll do. Now, it'd be nice if that big purple guy kind of respawned, but I don't think he will. No. Because that guy, well, he's a payday, all right? Strap this railgun to his ass, and we'll be living well for the rest of our lives. I mean, if two grand is a, is a fairly decent wage, if we're getting paid out and we are going to... Well, yeah, we've got like 16k in the bank. Right, let's go to Elliot, because Elliot's faster. Run, Elliot! Run like your life depends on it, me lad. There we go. Good man. Oh, shit. Shit. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, 16 grand. My God. That's, uh, what? I don't know. Like eight times more money? That is eight times more money. Then Elliot gets paid in a month. And we need to reload our napalm gun. Really? Do they have to put these uh, ladders here like this? I mean, sure. Sure. It's not Metal Gear Solid 3. But still. Now, if there are all these laser turrets everywhere that are ready to fill us full of holes, where were these laser turrets when the alien assholes were sliming up this place earlier? Uh, oh god, you guys are back. Really? Oh, let's cook us up a barbecue. Mmm, smelling good. Oh, oh god, alien fucking crabfish or whatever the fuck these things are. There we go. Can we actually get these with the... No. Well, in the gigadent, your food eats you, I guess. Do we have anything that we can use? Oh, I guess we got the shotgun. I mean, it's shit, but... It's better than nothing, I suppose. Well, at least these enemies are 
just as useless as we are. I mean, there's that. And the shotgun actually kills those things in one blast, which, yeah, does actually surprise me, to be honest. Because this thing is pretty rubbish. Although, I do like the sound. Oh, hello. I do like the sound of the shotgun shells bouncing around. They don't really sound like cardboard. They sound like plastic. Maybe they are. Oh, we've got... Oh, no. Guys, can you step? Guys, stay up there. Okay, I can't... I'm not going to come all the way back. Oh, you guys are morons. Wow. You're a king moron. Alright, well, you're dead now. I mean, I guess the enemies had to respawn to a degree. Because otherwise, this is a fucking long way back. Just for the sake of being a long way back. Ah, uh, any more? Are we outside yet? We're outside, yes. Please be open now. Well, this says the way out, staff only. The door is locked. Oh, okay. Janine, you really could have let us out. I'm just saying, Janine. You could have let us out the other way, but no. Oh, no, 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 no. Really? Are you... Serious? We have to go all the way back? Game design? Hello? I was going to say I can hear the 90s calling, but actually this is like 1999, so... Ugh. Kind of feels like we've accomplished nothing, really. Whereas, actually, we have. I guess, kind of. Right, so we need to go back through this one. Hopefully we can use the car to get back. Otherwise that would be a big load of steaming ass. We should change. Uh I guess. I don't know why. Alright. Uh and where did we get this body armor from? I mean, sure, why not, but still. Um, well, something big happened, and I guess we're not going to be allowed to use our car again, because reasons. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, friend. You want some of this? Well, that's fine, you can have some of this. Now, I don't know if that armor is just for show. Oh god, we're dry. We're dry. That's fine. I don't know if the armor is just for show. Yeah, uh, Elliot, you're a dull lad. You really are. Or if it does actually increase our damage resistance, I have no idea. <laughs> I like his little legs that he's dragging behind him. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> you know what, buddy? I'm tired of you. Let's just give you some of this. Wow, these guys hurt. These guys really hurt. Alright, let's go back to the shotgun then. There we go, he's had enough. I mean, they pay out quite nicely. Not as nicely as uh, some of the other guys, but, you know. The purple guys, I think, pay out the most. Uh, I might be wrong. Right, what have we got left? Three rounds. And I think we're going to chuck a hassy down our neck. Just because. Let's go for food. Ah, we've got a hamburger. Hamburger's pretty good. But we might as well use these hassies if we've got them. Now, I like the way we've got some armor. It kind of makes sense. Uh, dogs kind of look the same. Now, if you complete this game uh, X amount of times or in under three hours or something one of the bonus modes is dogs and elliot well one of the bonus costumes is dogs and elliot running around in swimwear which i actually think is really funny because how many times do you play a female character oh god these guys aren't worth fighting um in a game and you unlock skimpy outfits for them a lot of people were saying, oh, it's a bit of a pointless unlock. It's like, actually, think about it. It's quite funny because 
Usually when you play as a female character, like I say, one of the rewards is you unlock skimpy outfits. So why not have it for the guys? I mean, sure, it doesn't really do nothing for me, but I can appreciate it. That, my friends, is equality. Alright, we're out of that now. Uh, we found a hamburger. Uh, cool, I guess. Right. I guess that car was single use. I mean, this seems to be a very wasteful society that we live in. You know, if you look at how much gets thrown away here. Uh, I'm hoping we can just go back this way. I'm guessing we have to go back this way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Damn you, lasers! If you look at the way uh, Elliot just carelessly throws things away, you know, he's obviously not used to the clean, so Ooh! clean society that we're kind of gearing ourselves towards. Fuck me, I just shit my pants. Not literally, that would be really awkward, but... Oh, God. Uh... Right, yes. Well, I, oh, I mean, that was a thing that happened. We just kind of walked through this. Okay, cool, I guess. Um, right, I think we can walk across these pipes. I do vaguely remember that. Problem is, we uh, only have one life hook left. And this game controls like absolute ass. So, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Us these days completely ruined by things like analog control. You remember that? Analog control stuff? Nah, I never catch on that. Oh, God. Oh, this is so bad. There we go. Come on, Elliot. Um, there is actually something on that. Well, there's a life hook here, which we will take, because life is good, I guess. Um, right, what is that there? Oh, that's actually a, a ray gun battery, which, I mean, sure, we are actually... That's a laser gun battery. We don't have one of those, but I'll take a battery for it. Uh, right, okay. Big pipe or little pipe? Well, personally, if I had to pick, I'll take a little one myself. There we go. Ooh. Um, big pipe or little pipe? I'm going to take a little pipe. You know. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I mean, honest fuck's sake, honestly. Oh, God. Yep. I'm going to take the bazooka rockets because, yes. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we got through that. Uh, the door is broken, became unlocked. Well, uh, good. If it could actually open, that would be great. Oof. Oh, God. Hello. Ow. Can't believe that happened. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's... Oh, okay. I thought you was a big guy. You know, barely worth my time. Or Elliot's time. That is quite cool. When you have one uh, shotgun shell left in the uh, drum, it does actually only fire one round, which... Yeah, this is cool, I suppose. They did put a lot of effort into the weapons in this game. Not so much in... Oh, no. 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 No, you bastards. I thought that was too easy. Ah, oh, you sons of fucking bitch. What is all of this, honestly? <sighs> right, well... Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, Elliot. Don't fear the Reaper, buddy. All right. Oh, fuck. Okay. 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 I like the way they put these little ones here. 
He just tease you. Just a tip. Just to tease you, like. <sighs> okay, cool. Like, the little one is the direct and easy route. But you probably will die. Uh, you know. Yeah. A plasma magazine. I mean, sure, I guess. Uh, okay. I guess this is why we can't use the car. I guess. Oh, God, the analog stick. I don't know what's worse, the D-pad, which I've used for, like, the majority... Well, the entire game, actually. Or the analog stick. I don't know what's worse. I'm going to say the analog stick is worse. Because the analog... Like I said before, the analog stick doesn't act like an analog stick in this game. It is literally the D-pad mapped to an analog input. Which is, like, stupid. But that's the way it is. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Easy, tiger. Oh, hey, sir. You're worth killing. Dude. Well, I'm glad you're as accurate as I am. Can't really fault you for that. Give me your money. Lovely. Just what I wanted. Thank you. You're one of the good ones, I think. All right. You gave it up easy. Without a struggle. Well, I mean, technically he did struggle a little bit. He did try and defend himself. And we've got to nearly be back because there's the dock for the car. The car park. As they're usually called. And we're almost back. Oh, I can smell that restroom. Ah, sweet, sweet restroom. Yes. Oh, yes. Why don't we have to put in the password? My sweetheart. Shut up, Elliot, you dick. The mysterious blue light is... It's coming from Nepal. Yes. How did you know that? It's obvious. When you guys were checking the visual record... I was able to access it as well. Let's take a look at it again. Okay. We've already seen this. Developers must be very proud of this. I mean... This is the Aegis Telescope. Yes. It gives a bird's eye view of the island. The meteor hits, digs into the ground, and stops. The meteor hit right through this place called Gigadent. As you can see, it's a crater. Underneath that are seven layered shutters. The meteor riddled through those and stopped at the fifth layer. That's where we were at. This meteor wants to move. That's why her soul took the form of Nephlin. And she asked you to help. Why does she want to go through the shutter so bad? Hmm, well that's the question, isn't it? The answer is here. In the disc Dr. Kimura kept to himself till he died. The Gigadent disc. I think I opened the right file. I hope so. Yes. Hmm, Dasconi arrived on planet 65 million years ago, began hatching in 2000 AD, estimated date of hatching completion, 2018 AD. Hmm, so that's where the virus is coming from, I guess, or the dino cell. Big this fucking island dragon is thing. An egg of the monster? Uh-huh. We're on a freaking dinosaur egg? Kind of. This is it. Dinosaur killer. This is the meteorite that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Yes. Remember the big earthquake in 2000? 18 years ago? Yes, this is the cause. It began to hatch. If the public finds out about this, the world will erupt into chaos. Don't they have a fail-safe plan? Good thinking, tough guy. <sighs> Kimura Tech did set up a plan. 
What is it? An orbiting laser guided missile launching satellite. Cool. The target is locked onto the center of Dinosaur Island in case of an outbreak. That's impressive. Remember, Nephilim crashed into the satellite. <laughs> there goes the fail safe plan. Yeah. Nephi. I was thinking the same thing. We have to drop the Nephilim meteorite on the core of the egg. What'll happen then? Uh... Nobody knows that answer. Wow, what a clever plan. How are you gonna drop a meteorite through five layers of shutters? Open the shutters? I have a plan. Elliot, go to my flat in town and bring me a rifle. I'll tell you why when you get back. Gotcha. Here's my ID card. My room number's 201, second floor. I actually really like this part of the game. Um, yeah, I like going through Take the uh, apartment blocks. Um, well, what happened to that rifle that you saved us with earlier? Take care. Because you don't specify that you need like a, I don't know, a more precise rifle or something. You just want a rifle. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, game logic, I suppose. But that will have to wait for another time because we're out of time again uh, i'm actually very happy with my progress i've actually managed to record three episodes of this after work which is that's a really good result i'm gonna have plenty of episodes of this to upload throughout the week holy shit good and this has been really fun as well i've enjoyed the hell out of this uh three episode session it's been good and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it as well guys um, what I'm gonna do actually uh, I'm gonna make that's where we were dying I believe uh... I'm gonna make a save here because I believe we can return to lab town from here um, which is good Because, right, so I'm going to save there. I'm going to save here. That's good. Because we actually have enough money now to just go and buy all the weapons and play with them later at the end of the game. So that solves that issue. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I bloody have. And as always, till next time.